Hello, this is an updated video series of the most prescribed drugs ranked by number of prescriptions. The data here is from 2019 and it's the most updated data that I can currently find. I hope you find this video series to be useful. Number one is atorvastatin. Its brand name is Lipitor. It's used for hypercholesterolemia and it's an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. Number two is levothyroxine. Its brand names are euthyrox, levoxyl, synthroid, tyrostint, and unithroid. It's used for hypothyroidism and it's a hormone. Number three is lisinopril. Its brand names are prinavil and zestril. It's used for hypertension and it's an ACE inhibitor. Number four is metformin. Its brand names include glucophage, glumetza, and Riomet. It's used for diabetes, and it's classified as a biguanide. Five is metoprolol. Its brand names are Lopressor and Toprol. It's used for angina and hypertension, and it's a beta blocker. Six is amlodipine. Its brand names are Norvasc and Caterzia. It's used for hypertension and it is a calcium channel blocker. Number seven is albuterol. Its brand names include Proair HFA, Proventil HFA, and Ventolin HFA. It's used for asthma and COPD and it's an adrenergic bronchodilator. Number eight is omeprazole. Its brand name is Prilosec. It's used for stomach ulcers and gastroesophageal reflux disease, and it's a proton pump inhibitor. Nine is Losartan. Its brand name is Cozar. It's used for hypertension, and it's an angiotensin II receptor antagonist. Number 10 is gabapentin. Its brand name is Neurontin. It's used for seizures and nerve pain, and it's an anticonvulsant. 11 is hydrochlorothiazide. Its brand name is Microzide. It's used for hypertension, and it's a thiazide diuretic. Number 12 is sertraline. Its brand name is Zoloft. It's used for major depressive disorder, and it's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or SSRI. 13 is Simvastatin. Its brand name is Zocor. It's used for hypercholesterolemia, and it's an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. 14 is Montelukast. Its brand name is Singulair, it's used for asthma, and it's a leukotriene inhibitor. Number 15 is the combination drug of acetaminophen and hydrocodone. Its brand names are Lortab, Norco, Vicodin, and Zodol. It's used for pain, and acetaminophen is classified as a pain reliever, while hydrocodone is considered a narcotic pain reliever or an opioid pain reliever. Under the Controlled Substance Act, it's considered a Schedule II controlled substance. Number 16 is Pantoprazole. Its brand name is Protonix. It's used for gastroesophageal reflux disease, and it's a proton pump inhibitor. Number 17 is Furosemide. Its brand name is Lasix. It's used for hypertension, and it's a loop diuretic. Number 18 is fluticasone. Its brand names include Flonase and Flovent. It's used for allergic rhinitis and asthma, and it's a corticosteroid. Number 19 is escitalopram. Its brand name is Lexapro. It's used for major depressive disorder and it's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, 
or SSRI. Number 20 is fluoxetine. Its brand name is Prozac. It's used for major depressive disorder and it's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor or SSRI. 21 is rosuvastatin. Its brand name is Crestor. It's used for hypercholesterolemia and it's an HMG CoA reductase inhibitor. Number 22 is Bupropion. Its brand name is Welbutrin. It's used for major depressive disorder and it's an antidepressant. 23 is Amoxicillin. Its brand names are Amoxyl and Trimox. It's used for bacterial infections and it's an amino penicillin antibiotic. Number 24 is a combination of amphetamine and dextroamphetamine. Its brand names are Adderall and Mydeus. It's used for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, and it's considered a central nervous system stimulant. It's a Controlled Substance Act Schedule II controlled substance. 25 is Trazodone. Its brand name is Deserel. It's used for major depressive disorder, and it's considered a serotonin receptor antagonist and a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or an SARI. 26 is Duloxetine. Its brand name is Cymbalta. It's used for major depressive disorder, and it's a selective serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, or an SNRI. Number 27 is prednisone. Its brand name is deltazone. It's used for inflammation and it's a corticosteroid. 28 is tamsulosin. Its brand name is Flomax. It's used for benign prostatic hyperplasia and it's an alpha blocker. 29 is ibuprofen. Its brand names include Advil, and Motrin. It's used for fever, pain, and inflammation. It's considered a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug or an NSAID. 30 is Citalopram. Its brand name is Celexa. It's used for major depressive disorder and it's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor or an SSRI. 31 is Meloxicam. Its brand name is Mobic. It's used for inflammation and pain, and it's considered a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or an NSAID. Number 32 is Pravastatin. Its brand name is Pravacol. It's used for hypercholesterolemia, and it's considered an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor, or statin. Number 33 is Carvedilol. Its brand name is Coreg. It's used for heart failure and hypertension, and it's classified as a beta blocker. Number 34 is Potassium Chloride. Its brand name is Chlorcon. It's used for potassium deficiency, and it's considered an electrolyte. Number 35 is Tramadol. Its brand name is Ultram. It's used for pain, and it's considered a narcotic analgesic. Under the Controlled Substance Act, Tramadol is considered a Schedule IV controlled substance. Number 36 is Clopidogrel. Its brand name is Plavix. It's used for blood clot prevention, and it's an antiplatelet agent. 37 is Insulin Glargine. Its brand name is Lantus. It's used for diabetes and it's considered a hormone. 38 is Aspirin. Its brand name is Bayer Aspirin. It's used for pain, fever, and inflammation. It's a salicylate antiplatelet agent. 39 is Atenolol. 
Its brand name is Tenormin. It's used for angina and hypertension, and it's considered a beta blocker. Number 40 is Venlafaxine. Its brand name is Effexor. It's used for major depressive disorder, and it's a selective serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, or an SNRI. Number 41 is Alprazolam. Its brand name is Xanax. It's used for anxiety disorders, and it's considered a benzodiazepine. Under the Controlled Substance Act, Alprazolam is considered a Schedule IV controlled substance. Number 42 is the combination drug of ethinyl estradiol and norethindrone. Its brand names include Loestrin and Ofcon. It's used as a contraceptive and also for hormone replacement therapy. It's classified as a combination of hormones. Number 43 is allopurinol. Its brand name is Xyloprim. It's used for gout and it's considered an anti-gout agent. Number 44 is the combination drug of hydrochlorothiazide and lisinopril. Its brand names include Zestoretic and Prinzide. It's used for hypertension, and hydrochlorothiazide is considered a thiazide diuretic, while lisinopril is considered an ACE inhibitor. 45 is cyclobenzaprine. Its brand name is Flexoril. It's used for muscle pain and also muscle injury, and it's considered a skeletal muscle relaxant. 46 is clonazepam. Its brand name is clonopin. It's used for seizures, and it's a benzodiazepine. Under the Controlled Substance Act, clonazepam is considered a Schedule IV controlled substance. Number 47 is Zolpidem. Its brand name is Ambien. It's used for insomnia, and it's considered to be a sedative. Under the Controlled Substance Act, Zolpidem is considered a Schedule IV controlled substance. Number 48 is Azithromycin. Its brand names include Azocyte, Zithromax, and Zithromax z -pack. It's used for bacterial infections, and it's considered a macrolide antibiotic. Number 49 is Oxycodone. Its brand names include Oxycontin and Roxycodone. It's used for pain, and it's considered a narcotic analgesic. Under the Controlled Substance Act, Oxycodone is considered a Schedule II controlled substance. Number 50 is Warfarin. Its brand name is Coumadin. It's used for blood clot prevention and it's considered an anticoagulant. Thank you for watching. Please consider supporting this channel. A lot of research goes into these videos, and I plan on making more great videos in the future that go in-depth about drug classifications and how they work.